Hello, welcome to Codora. Thank you very much for clicking on this thumbnail. I'm going to show you how to install JitSubmit on your Linux server and at the end of the video I will also show you less encrypt SSO certificate installation process. So stick around. Cut the story short, let's go ahead and see the requirements, what sort of requirements we need for this JitSubmit installation. First of all, we need a VPS with Ubuntu 16.04 or 18.05, a domain, a fully qualified domain, and a Putty Clan. You might be familiar with Putty Clan. Um, I'm hoping so. So we need also a subdomain where we're going to hit. In my case, is Live Class and my domain name is jugal.xyz it should be different for you and also we're going to set cname record i will show you how to do this uh, let me introduce my main ip address in that case i will go to my vps server and so you should be having a cloud panel where you can find your ip address in my case it is that i'm going to copy that i might be needing it later so for the Jugal XYZ, I'm going to manage good for manage DNS or setting. In here, I need to create a CNAME record. So let's add CNAME record and I need to point this to my subdomain. So the host is going to be live class and I can point to the main IP address or I can just put my app sign let's put the TTL is 600 seconds save it let's save it so the CNAME record is done the step one is done let's go ahead and do the step two now we need to connect to VPS with the putty SSS client I'm trying to copy the IP address let's copy that put it here I can go so you should log in as a root user so I'm gonna put root and I'm trying to copy password from somewhere from the BPS panel I should say and I'm trying to paste it over here yeah so I'm logged in now as you can see um, I logged in as a root user so the step 2 is done So now it's uh, time to set hostname, which is our step three. I'm using liveclass.jugal.xyz. That should be the command, sudo hostname ctl set hostname and the subdomain. In my case, it's liveclass. Let's copy the whole thing and paste it on putty. It's going to say, unable to resolve host live class is because we haven't written any host name yet so let's go ahead and go to this directory yeah here is the place we're gonna write so we're gonna type first the main IP address which is my IP address let me copy it and paste it over here then tab and now I'm going to write subdomain which is live class then domain dot XYZ and then I'll also put another tab and I'm going to say live class as alias let's save it that's it okay so now it is set we can ping oh, okay so that's what we have done just now now we can ping it and it says unknown host live class is because I have put the inverted comma or you can say the double quotation little bit wrong my double quotation seems a bit funny it's just the curly double braces or double quotation we should uh, have the 
uh, straight one I guess so so yeah so ping the straight double quotation and the host name and it's going to ping so that's okay or you can just simply say host name it will also read um, you know show you the uh, host name which is live class in our case <coughs> so step 3 is done now we have to configure the firewall which is step 4 TCP and UDP port should be open so we can copy the whole thing I guess test it okay just put y and it says aborted no worry about it uh, we can check the status though we can copy sudo uwf status paste it over here and it says allowed I guess so looks okay to me we need to install open JDK which is very very important uh, open JDK 8 uh, without it uh, Jitsu will not work and um, what happened I used it before and without open uh, JDK 8 uh, there should be a lot of call interruption so in that case uh, uh, we need to uh, install that for sure uh, I'm putting a note here uh, just uh, to remind myself that um, without it call interruption happens okay and now i have already uh have had it installed so it's not going to install it for me it says zero upgraded zero newly installed um probably have seen it yeah but for you it's gonna install it with no issue for sure uh let me show you my java version yeah it says 1.8.0282 i guess yeah and now uh, adding Jitsu semit repository this is one of the most important things uh, is going to configure stun and turn server for you which is great so we're going to add this stable repository for the let's copy this key Yeah, I'm going ahead and install it, installing it one by one. It says okay. Then another key, another command. It seems okay to me. And now this is the important part. If everything is okay, this Jitsi stable list is going to uh, have something in the folder, have something in the list. So and boom it has nothing inside so that means we don't have uh, GHC repository installed properly so I'm going to find something for you so this is what I have found uh, this is the repository I will have this copied and go ahead and paste it okay let me echo that yeah okay now if I go back and uh, update this so sudo apt update hmm seems like it is installing the packages okay cool now what this is all packages updated okay I would like to check that stable list that we had it empty because we need to check so GHC stable list that's what I'm looking for and yeah it has things inside now so it seems like uh, things have gone well so far and now we can install GC map so sudo app install gcmet and now it is installing it is it is going to ask you the host name uh, so the in my case is live class dot google dot xyz 
Okay. It says generate a new certificate, Silson certificate, or you will later get a chance to obtain a less encrypt certificate. So we will uh, do the less encrypt uh, certification thing later. So let's say yes for now. Okay, it's getting its package. It's going to take some time. So yeah, this is uh, getting installed. Just to let you know that after this is uh, done, I'm going to um, check the Nginx server health. Uh, so I think, yeah, it's done now. Let's check the status of Nginx before we go for the um, verify installation. We'll do that later. So it says reload failed for a high performance web server and reverse proxy servers it says invalid value tlsv 1.3 uh, in a route we are we have to go to that route and remove that or we can uncomment that let's go ahead and do that so that's the directory Let's copy that. Not the thing at the last. Pseudo nano and then paste that. I think I made a mistake. It has to be pseudo, not sudden. Right. So here. I have a thing is the what is the bottom I found it yeah so let's uncomment that with the hash save that and get out now we can I think we can restart the Nginx service, which should be Nginx. Okay, so the Nginx has restarted, I guess. We can check uh, the status always. And it seems like started a high performance web server. So, okay. Don't worry about uh, the not secure thing. Uh, is uh, it will be okay when we will fix uh, with SSL certificate. But for now, we can proceed to live class. Seems like it is working. So we have successfully installed the Jitsi Mate on your Linux server. We are going to create our first meeting, which is going to be first meeting thousand one. Start meeting. You can put anything you want to and the meeting has started I'm the only person in the meeting I think I can copy this and I can start another meeting in another uh, web browser so here it is let's hit enter and advance the second person in the meeting so this is the second person as another person over there in the corner um, I think I need to get this cascaded so that you can see both windows um, for the time being you can go ahead and hit the like button if you want to and subscribe my channel but don't go away stick around because I need to show you the less encrypt thing um, after a while so those are the two windows I'm trying to getting this cascaded so that you can see okay right what i'm gonna do um i cannot talk so let's choose a name and start chatting the first person is gonna be me monir and i'm typing hello to the other person the other person what can it be it can be one of my colleagues named rov so i'm going to say rov and i'm going to set their name as rov so rov 
who helped me a lot by the way uh, when we were um, trying to have this okay we're saying hello hi okay so things are working so as I was saying Rufus was helping me a lot uh, when we were researching about the Jirsi thing so thank you Rolf and now the less encrypt thing um, so if you have this le less encrypt SSL certificate then those red things gonna go away you will have that HTTP thing back um, when you run the first command it will ask you the email you have to put it put an email over here it will say no search file or directory don't worry about it um, you can go for the next command which is sudo apt install search bot as you can see this is the error we are already assuming that error will come so no big issue so the workaround is here so first uh, we need to copy sudo apt install search bot it's gonna install press yes guys working working you can subscribe my channel if you uh, think I deserve um, a subscription because I'm going to go ahead and um, upload some new videos in next week so please subscribe my channel and hit the like button if you think I deserve it okay I think it is done uh, let's go ahead and uh, go for the next command Um, yeah, it says uh, email thing again, so don't worry about it. Um, let's put that email again. And I think this is going to be successful now because it is uh, waiting for the verification and it will have the certification in a second, I guess. Yeah, cleaning up challenges. Yeah, boom. So I think all ready now. Um, just all you have to do uh, open a browser and say live class XYZ and you will see a green padlock over there connection is secure no problem at all we can also open another browser uh, just to check that it is working on another browser where is my another browser okay here it is hit the enter button yeah you have it ready if you think that you need uh, more customization such as like the if you want to change the home page or maybe the logos or there are like a lot of customization like you have the config and interface config uh, uh, things um, so you will be you know you want to change that later for sure so if you think that you're um, getting a little bit frustrated or you're not really sure where to go to or which kind of things you need to change then you can um, you know comment um, below and uh, let me know like what you're trying to know so that I can make more videos and please 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 uh, subscribe my channel and hit the like button and you can also press the bell icon so that the new videos appear you get that uh, you know straight away thank you very much guys um, for your time uh, and take care bye bye